So today we're going to talk about zebra calcite. This is a fairly recently unearthed stone. And as you can see, it's got these beautiful banding elements that look like the stripes on a zebra or zebra, depending on where you come from. So it also is known as phantom calcite. So this to me is just a really stunning stone. I think it's beautiful. And it's all about your emotions. So this stone is about transformation, starting with your emotions. It helps you bring suppressed feelings to the surface so that you can deal with stuff that needs to be dealt with and then move on, become a much happier person. It forces you basically to acknowledge all the negative experiences that you may have been holding on to in your life and works with you on to being able to let them go as you find your inner strength and become a stronger and much happier person. Now, here's the thing though. You can't just say, oh great, that sounds wonderful. I'm gonna go home, grab me some zebra, se um, zebra sorry, calcite. You have to know how to actually work with a crystal as well to get the full benefits from it. There's a couple that you can literally just put in your hand and you're like, woo, I felt that. Um, but when you get any kind of stone from anywhere, the first thing you want to do is you want to um, cleanse it. Now, some stones are okay to put in salt water. Some are not, like selenite, for example, is too soft to go in salt water. So what I like to do is just get some, um, a sage stick and just sage some smoke over the, over the stones. And then you also want to charge them too. Now, you may not have purchased your stones on the night of a full moon. You may not want to wait until the full moon comes around. In which case, what you can do is that you can put them out in the sun and use the sun's energy for a day, even if it's in a sunny window, that's, that's okay too. And then the minute you do have a full moon, just go ahead and put them out under the moon's energy for the night. Then you want to put your personal energy on these stones. And how you do that is you pretty much just hold one that's been cleansed and charged, kind of close your eyes and just open your mind to it. You might want to do put some meditation music on. You may want to just sit quietly with it for 10, 20 minutes and just kind of see if anything comes through. Um, but what you're doing is you're putting your energy on that stone and taking off anyone else's energy too. So, and I'll talk about that more in another video, but um, I personally have had wonderful experiences um, holding and meditating with stones. And then I've had some that I didn't cleanse. Um, for example, I had an amethyst crystal that I didn't cleanse and I just stuck it by my bed the other night. And I had the worst nightmares I've ever had in my life. And I was like, okay, you're gone. Um, so it obviously came from somewhere that had a lot of problems. Anyhow, so this is zebra calcite. And if you need to buy some or interested in purchasing some, you can get some by messaging me through Facebook, Starstruck Crystals, or I have a website, Starstruck Crystals and StarstruckCandles.com. And I'm here for any questions. I hope you like this video.